The British NGO Mentor Initiative is performing a Demuria bed net distribution to pastoralist communities in Kenya's northeastern province. They do that to prevent people from having to go to a health post like this in a village nearby the city Garissa. Here clients queue for consultation. Most of them come from pastoralist communities. Some have walked for hours to reach here. When they're too sick to walk, they'll be carried to the clinic by improvised ambulances. This pastoralist father from the neighborhood is here with his seven-year-old son, Abdi. Many clients fear it is malaria due to poor health education. Also, this girl thinks she has it, and she's not the only one. To protect against malaria drug resistance caused by wrong usage, the doctors insist on a test. She fell from malaria because she was feeling body weakness. That's why we tested malaria. It was negative. And currently, the malaria prevalence is low at 2%, which is mainly because of the dry season. But with the rainy season on the corner, the malaria cases are likely to surge. Especially during the rainy days, or when there are lanes, then they are off. And again, we are just next to the river. So most of them, maybe they come from the allowed the river region. Because of the current drought, pastoralist communities went to places near that river. According to Hawa Abdullahi of Mentor Initiative, this year's malaria prevalence might even surge higher. With all the human activity and the traffic going on, we have a lot of small puddles of water, which is good breeding site for the mosquitoes. So eventually they end up contracting malaria. So Menta is distributing 13,000 durable demuria nets to pastoralist communities in the area. They are manufactured by the European company Festerhard Fransen and designed for use in tough conditions. But a net on its own is not likely to solve the problem. Menta will keep educating the communities on how to use them and has installed 21 so-called Argos machines in health posts across the region. The health workers can use it to send information on malaria to a central database. Having collected data in real time, we're able to prepare ourselves for any malaria epidemics that are seen to be on the way. But since communities can be far away from the few health posts in the region, it is crucial that the Demuria mosquito nets prevent them from contracting malaria in the first place. To learn whether their effective mentor is going to revisit the villages, each net is coded for that purpose. And because we have this coding, it is again easy to track, okay, to know to who it has been given and what has happened with the net. So this follow-up will be done after six months uh, and will continue along the year to understand uh, what has been the usage. And for this boy caring for his small friend, it might help a lot because malaria mostly hits young children.